Okay, repair those shields, please. Alright. Now let's jump. Oh, there's a store over here. Uh, can't afford anything, so let's just go to the exit. Save our fuel. You arrived at the long range beacon where the FTL drive is charged and you can jump to the next sector. You see a small station fitted with a hundred, hundreds of repair drones. You've received an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place uh, for some ship repair. Uh, sure, repair five damage. All right. Now we got our power back, so let's repower up our systems. Oh, it is a good thing we got out of there fast. I didn't notice my oxygen was taken out. All right. I want to take power out of that and put it into the hole laser. All right. Now, let's jump to our next sector. Now, this is the sector map. Basically, there are eight. There will always be eight sectors. Uh, each each new sector kind of has a kind of a special thing about them. Uh, civilians are relatively peaceful sectors where you you'll be able to you know get by, no problem. Hostile sector, sectors, you're either going to find a lot of rebel planets, rebel symp rebel sympathizers, or you're going to find a lot of hostile aliens. Um, there's a race of insect uh aliens called the mantis or something like that and they like to attack a lot um there's also a race of rock men that are also hostile uh, i think those are all the hostile aliens they i know they added some more during the uh during the the, the uh update uh the patch or dlc or version 2 whatever you want to call it um but i don't know what those are um, and then the nebulas are usually the, <laughs> well, they're, they're sectors where there's a lot of plasma storms. Unfortunately for us, we have nothing but, nothing but nebulas as our second choice. Now, looking at this map, you can kind of pick where you want to go. And I think I want to go this route. Because this will give me two civilian sectors and it'll give me a lot of time to, just kind of a, an easier way to get to sector eight. Which is something you want, because once you get to Sector 8, hell kind of unleashes. The Nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigatable. Yep. I'm kind of seeing that. Alright, Danger. You are inside a Nebula. Are you simple? Your sensors will not function, but the Rebel fleet will advance more slowly towards you. Alright. Let's jump. <laughs> Man. Alright, we can go this way. Or this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So pretty much the same way. Um, but we could include this one and make this one ten. By the same rights, we can include this one and make this ten. Uh, I really don't. I, I really don't like being in these plasma storms. So I'm gonna go this route. There's nothing here save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays of, from a distant sun. There's a black market hub here. You receive messages. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. So, this is one of those times where you can actually sell some of your stuff. Um, sell, sell like the, these things that I was telling you about. And I think I actually will sell my five missiles. Um, actually, I don't know, I can't do that. Alright, 
I'm going to have to ignore the station. So what I was thinking is maybe selling them and using the money to upgrade my weapon systems, but as you can see, I wouldn't have made enough money on the deal to upgrade my weapon systems, so we had to ignore them. All right, let's see what's going on at this distress beacon. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail, hail them, asking them, asking what's wrong. Help, we are being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Okay. Uh, let's send the crew to help. G giant alien spiders are no joke. The crew slowly creeps up up on a cluster of the creatures from behind without warning the giant arachnids turn and charge however your team stays in control and before long you've beaten them back contact the station owners they are thrilled with your success and offer you a reward eight missiles two drones and 18 scrap not bad i just realized my ingi guy is hurt a little so heal up all right good i get back Time to jump to this one. Uh, you look like a military vessel. We, we're we trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Two missiles and dro three drone parts. Actually, that's a pretty good deal because I don't really use drones and I have a lot. I just got a lot of missiles. So let's agree to the trade. You make an exchange, and their teams come aboard and try to improve your reactor. Boom. So I got a free power upgrade, basically. So as soon as I get enough money to upgrade my weapon systems once, I'll be able to actually have all three of my weapons. Or I could put this in here. There we go. That's actually pretty good. That's actually better. Because now my evasion is up to 20. And our, our FTL jump will actually charge faster as well. Alright. Let's go... Black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before punishing, pushing his wares. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. For neutral. They don't have any teleporter systems. I say we're, we teach them the, the law of the jungle. You have made your point, we are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. I will accept it. You'll find that uh, usually the uh, the surrender uh, the surrender uh, loot is a lot is higher than what happens if you destroy it. Occasionally, like maybe like one thing will be higher. Like they might skimp on their missiles that they're giving you, and if you destroy them, you'll get more missiles. But usually, the other two things will go down, and it's all random, so you never know what you're gonna get. So it's usually pretty good to just take the surrender, loot, and go. All right, now we'll go up to here. feel naked without functionary sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none come. Go down here. A ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Um, I got drones. Alright, now the drones are going to be actually a hard thing, because... There is one way to uh, counter, counter, uh, counter the missiles, and that is anti-missile drones, and they'll actually shoot the missiles out of the air. 
So this could actually turn into a very bad fight for us with our current weapon systems. If I had enough power for the second secondary lasers, I'd, I'd be all right with joining this fight, but let's try to remain concealed. Damn it. <laughs> uh, the ship spots you and gives chase. After some quick maneuvering, you are able to lose your pursuers in the clouds. You expect they warn the fleet, however. So, we failed to get away, and we got severely punished. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over here. Uh, there appears to be a number of small stations nearby before you have time to scan them. Warning goes off. A rebel teleporter was used in, in one of the stations. You have been boarded. I boarded my weapon systems. Okay. So I have a guy in there. I'll send the guy with the engines. Go. 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 You're dying really fast, so run to the medics. Who's dying next? Lauren, get out of here. You get out of here. Oh, you're dying fast. Go, run, run, run! Ah, what the hell? Did nobody else see me clicking on that? So, who did I lose? I bet I lost my pilot. Yep, I lost my freaking pilot. Alright. Well, I'm pissed. that guy would have run. I was clicking on him. Alright. Let's go here. The Manta ship hails you through the storm. They are a sacred something clan hunting grounds. You are prey shields up. You know what? I'm pissed. I could I could use some good target practice. Missiles, one drone, 33 scrap. There you go. Alright, we can upgrade our weapon systems. Take out the missiles. Put it in the burst lasers. Alright. I really. <laughs> now I really kind of want the burst lasers because I have a whole bunch of missiles now. We're going to have to save up again. Alright, I'm going to. Let's see here. So I'll go ahead and buy one more power bar too. Oh, can't afford it. All right, I guess I'm gonna do nothing. All right, let's go to the exit. The long-range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. And I'm gonna jump. Actually, let's go down here, because it's gonna take a while for them to catch up. But uh, uh, me, nah, never mind. Next sector, hostile sector. We have mantis controlled and mantis controlled. So let's go to mantis controlled sector. 
You enter, you've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. We do not. <laughs> oh boy. Space is truly a harsh mistress. <laughs> discovered yet another unlicensed and uncharted mantis colony. They certainly waste no time exp expanding their claims. A mantis ship moves to intercept you before you can jump away. Yeah. And now they're on board. And the worst thing about mantis is they actually have increased damage. At least it looks like we're winning the ship battle. There we go. 30 scrap, one fuel, one drone. store. Let's see what we can find at the store. Well, let's go here first. Let's see if we can get some more money before we go to the store. Alright, we're attacking. Fuel, two missiles, 28 scrap. All right. Now let's go see what is at the store. <laughs> A struggling Mantis cargo ship headed for the node raises what's left of their shields as you jump in. You power up your weapons as a show of force and they reluctantly agree to offload some of their cargo for you for a price. I'm going to inflict 1.5 damage in combat, increase movement speed, but half repair speed. Considering that we had a lot of teleporters and we're going through Mantis territory, it'd be good to have a Mantis aboard. But if we do this, I'm not going to be able to upgrade my weapon systems to include the missile launcher. However, we have been doing pretty well with the two lasers. Alright. And then we'll fix our hole to max. Is there anything we can sell? No. Or, well, nothing I want to sell. Alright. So, oh, wait, no. Cancel. Alright, I want you to go to engine control. You to weapons, you to there. Normally I'd put him in the middle of the ship so he can kind of run anywhere, but um, I've already got him training on weapons and him training on shields, so... Next best thing is to train somebody on engines. Alright, let's go... Here. You fancy you see something moving in the shadows of a beacon, but all remain still. You 
You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Um, we can offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. Blue options are, are kind of special in that they can lead to... Uh, they're kind of like conditional choices that if you can only choose them if you have something at that time and they usually give you better rewards think like um any of the mass effect games where like if you if your rebel or paragon level is high enough you could get a paragon or rebel response and you kind of can uh subvert a certain a, a certain conversation blocker while I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have a certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade <laughs> weapon in our minds isn't exactly what I would call a <laughs> union-friendly. Alright, we'll give them five missiles. They thank you for your offer to have the... an offer to have you remember... <laughs> repair my hole? I already repaired my hole. Thanks for nothing. Uh... I'm sad on the inside, because <laughs> I just spent 14 scrap repairing my hull. You're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the idea. You get the point. They arm weapons. That's very peace-loving. At least they don't have a teleporter. There we go. Shields and weapons are down. They send you a message. I cannot believe how well equipped you sh your ship is. Please send take this and let us live the 22 scrap is very 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 enticing if only there weren't drone parts <laughs> all right let's move on right here you are immediately hailed by an impressive looking mantis ship your ship will make a mighty fine prize prepare for battle Mantis, run. My pilot is being attacked. And he needs to be piloting our ship. <laughs> you pick up more chatter from the enemy ship. You know what? Forget this. Prepare to retreat. Looks like they're preparing to hastily get away. Alright, so we're going to have our whole laser, which is almost charged up, hit their engines. I think not. And now they boarded my ship before they died. Everyone in here, kill that guy. heal up you go heal up and then once they're healed up we'll move on jump here first see if we can't get into another battle you notice a flurry of lasers fire uh, glance pat flurry of lasers fire glance I think that sentence is wrong by the port window the mantis are upon you 
All right, where are you going to teleport into? Oh, they don't have a teleporter. <laughs> oh, I got shot twice. Well, we took down their weapon systems and their shields, so... Oh, we started a fire. If you notice, the, the shield kind of went... Pssst. Uh, that's that's due to uh, our lasers starting a fire in their ship. Cool. Three fuel, two missiles, and 40 scrap. Now that is great. That's the kind of you know, uh, loot I want to get. Alright. Upgrade our weapon systems and one more power bar, except power up the missile launcher. We now have full weapon systems. <laughs> Let's go ahead and exit. You arrived at the long range beacon and when your FTL drive is charged, you can leave. You, you arrive at a quiet spaceport and are immediately hailed by another ship at port with a once in a lifetime deal. I think not. I, I, I need fuel more than I need missiles. I have plenty of missiles. Oh, whoa, whoa, close. Okay, they're going here. So that would be here. And then I might be able to pull this off. Let's go check out this distress beacon. You arrive and find a ship floating among the debris. Hello, our impulse drivers are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Everyone's after my fuel, man. It's a Federation bomber. All right. You give them fuel. Thank you. Here, have some scrap as payment. There we go. All right. I'll accept it. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank God. All right. Jump to the next sector. Civilian sector. The Ingi controlled sector. You know, if we're going through a hostile sector, we actually... uh. Didn't do half bad. You have arrived in Ingi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times upon these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. All right, let's go right to the store. An Ingi ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary to for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Cool. Ooh, now cloaking is actually very fun to have, um, especially at the very end, but uh, I don't have uh, enough money for that. Target a single system, locking its doors and granting the ability to temporarily disrave or disrupt it. Require drone part for launch. Yeah. The cloning bay would actually be nice. Then I wouldn't have to worry about my, you know, uh, My crew members dying. <laughs> Automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty. Taking advantage of micro cloning. Crew heals partially every jump. Jump heal is passive and requires no power. Alright. Ooh, they also have augments. Augments would be nice to have. A shield charge booster boosts the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. Crew gets crew gets fully healed by teleportation. Allows the ship to collect 10% more scrap from any source. Interesting. Alright, what was the other stuff? We can get another hull missile, an ion charger, or an S small bomb. Self-teleporting explosive that damage the, damages the system and crew, but not the hull. Can target your own ship. Charge time 13. Requires missile. Normal damage 0. System damage 2. Crew damage 30. Nine weapon that charges 
can charge multiple times, giving an additional projectiles. Charge time six seconds. Ooh, that's not. That's that's really good. I am damage required power two. I'm gonna buy this. This is actually very good. rich pickings for pirates around here up until war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You'll have to fight. Alright. Shields and weapons. They have an ion and laser. Alright, good. So their kind of system setup was the ion takes down the shields and then the beam damages. But luckily my uh, my whole laser or my whole buster uh, took out their weapon systems and the ion cannon couldn't fire. So as long as we get their shields down and keep them down, there we go. Really? That's all you're gonna give me for your life? I guess I'll take it. So, <laughs> we have four fuel. I probably should have bought some when I was at the store. I can technically fly back, fly back to the store, but I want to explore more. There was a site of a recent battle, either. A show of Mantis Force or an Engi were here weren't dis disposed to go peacefully. You pick through the pieces. There we go. There's a storm. So we can do one, two, three. Boom. Perfect. A complex arrangement of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors floating abandoned in space suggests the Engi were here not too, too long ago, but no longer. I'm actually gonna go to the store first, just in case the distress signal needs it, like, we need fuel. You can do remarkable things with piles of scrap. The Yingi Hive on this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Alright, first things first. <laughs> Let's get some fuel. An FTL jammer, a Zoltan shield bypass. I don't really need that. Stealth weapons, prevent your weapons your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. I don't have a cloak, so it doesn't matter. I don't have drones, drone control, so I don't need that. A battery backup provides 30 seconds of power boost to your reactor. Upgrading increases the boost amount. Interesting. Full on weapons. Alright, let's get the backup battery system. Not exactly sure if that was a best buy or not. We'll see what happens. It's the first time. This is one of those things that got added in on the uh, upgrade. Uh, you follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail to offer them assistance. They respond to help. Our shields are down and we won't last long. Uh, Alright. Despite your best efforts the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage you are barely able to break out of the asteroid field yourself the ship sustains some damage in the process but we get 24 scrap not exactly profitable Let's go here. 
You see a number of Ingi space stations and fleet nearby. Despite looking like piles of junk loosely tied together, they are actually a model of efficiency. They just lack a certain aesthetic emphasis on their constructions. Alright, I would love to go to this store, but we need to start running from the rebels. And I just realized I have, I'm have i running out of fuel. The Ingi are awaiting you at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the Ingi, multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference is aboard your vessel. They insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus. Have, my, have the Ingi crew member to negotiate with the Ingi ship. As the Ingi attempts to contact the vessel and negotiate, your Ingi crew member suddenly dissolves into nanites. The virus is murdered again. Detecting activity aboard your ship, the Ingi vote opens fire. Oh no! <laughs> this is not good, guys. This is not good. Alright. Until we know what drones they have, I'm gonna... Yep, they have an anti-missile drone. They have a two-layered shield, oh man. Oh boy, all right. Focus on the shields. Go repair. Yep, I didn't think that would work. Hurry, go repair that. Oh, my batteries are dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Repair, repair, repair. Oh, this is not good. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end of our adventure right now. Oxygen low. My Inky member's gone. <laughs> Repairs on oxygen are slow. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop missing! Hit! <laughs> Repair the engine systems. Fire a missile. Hopefully one of them will get past the drone. Get in here to the weapon systems. Start repairing. Oh god! And we're done. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Game over. Well... I hope y'all enjoyed that first playthrough. Um, <laughs> I'll, uh, well, like I said, this is going to be a series. I've, there really is, there's kind of an end. It's kind of if you make it to the end of the sector and defeat the rebel fleet. Um, but this is also going to be kind of like, I'll, I'll play this whenever I have the spare time kind of thing like that. So, although if, if you, if you guys really like it, I'll, I'll increase the video output or, how many videos I make. <laughs> so, until next time.